All right, welcome back to another video. We are trying to wrap up the framework on this project. What's on the agenda for this video is we're going to be working on all the blocking in this deck, flat blocking, bridging, railing blocking, as well as all the skirt framework. So stay tuned, should be a good week. So we got the majority of the, uh, the deck framed up. So we've snapped, uh, we've snapped control lines on the deck. Um, this deck is going to get two rows of blocking along with another row of blocking on top of the beams. You ain't gonna help me. Just finished doing the four rows of blocking over top of the beams. I'm going to be going back through now and I'll be doing two more rows in between each section for a total of eight more. So I'm working on our corner transition detail. The decking runs perpendicular to the house on both planes. And what we're doing is we are gonna be basket weaving the pieces as they join down the center. What I'm gonna do is I'm using my square in combination with my level to draw a straight line that's perfectly square off the front edge. And I'm gonna be installing a series of flat blocks as well as vertical support blocks on each side. So what'll happen is the deck boards will alternate overlapping each other as you get to the front of this section here. I'm going around right now and doing my post layout and we use a solid 6x6 block cut the exact width of the joist cavities. So we'll install these blocks tight and we'll follow up and go behind it with another block on the back side. So it's a nice secure structural connection. And then later on, obviously we have lots of meat to mount it, our uh, railing posts into. So this section of the deck is a little bit different than the other one because we're gonna be installing parallel with the actual joist bay. So what we do is we still use the same size blocks. They are installed on our mark. So I've gone through, I've done my railing layout. I know I wanna block center here. So it gives us plenty of room on the other side for the post. Once these are installed, we will go through on either side with a vertical two by six member, cut the same depth as the rest of the uh, blocking and it'll be secured through front and back of each joist bay. And then this will also get tacked with several nails. So gives us plenty of structural support when we come back through and mount our railings. I'm working on the skirt framework for this project. We're doing horizontal skirting across the entire deck. So I've got all my 16 inch on center marks. So now we're going through and we're installing the two by fours on the flat on the back side of the rim joist. There's two lengths of two by fours we need because this side's gonna have five boards and then it slowly gets towards six boards. So I'm just cutting the, the two by fours that Brett's using for the skirting. Luckily, I have this handy cut hub stopper here so I can just basically take my measurement, my standard measurement and use it to butt in my, uh, my two by four before making the cut. So I can just kind of feed it through and give it a Brett. Now that we've got all our vertical transitions installed, 
I'm going through and I'm installing our bottom kicker rail and we've determined how tall these need to be so that way we have full boards finishing and this frame is going to be an inch and a half above grade. Keep on running till the sun goes down Run now, love it, run now So now I'll go through and I'll install all of these. So when we come back later to install our fascia, it's all on the same plane. Alright, we're on to uh, some flat blocking here. So what this is going to do is going to add a lot of backing for our picture frame detail that's coming across. When the boards end, we have uh, somewhere to nail to and screw down. Um, there's a big multi-width decking pattern going in here, so it uh, gives us a little bit extra meat to go in. That's it for this week's video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, stay tuned for next week's video where I'll be back with the Duro Boys and uh, we'll be tackling some stairs and getting her all stitched up.